Did you know that the second most commonly transplanted tissue after blood is bone? Bone transplants or, or bone grafting is an important uh, and common procedure that we, we use to, to assist with bone healing. Lots of people have problems with their bones and that could be due to disease, injury as it would occur from an accident or bone defects we are born with. Minor damage to bone, like a fracture, will usually heal on its own, but a large defect needs a bit of help. So, Julian, this looks like a pretty big break in this bone here. Yeah, it is. This is um, an example of a uh, quite a nasty tibial fracture. Yeah. You can see it's in a few pieces and that there is uh, a lot of gaps in between the bones. This is the type of fracture that would benefit from bone grafting. Substitute bone can be taken from another part of the patient's own body or transplanted from a donor. There are risks associated with, with transplantation such as uh, immune reactions and although very, very small, there is a risk of disease transmission with, um, with donor bone. Another option is artificial bone, but replicating the properties of living bone tissue is very tricky. Bone structure is quite poor, so we're trying to develop a material that has the same structure as in your hip and spine, that is very porous, like spongy material. But at the same time, we need to create material that is mechanically strong, that can withstand the loads and pressures. Hala's team has developed a material that acts as a structure for new living bone cells to grow through. We just take calcium silicate, we incorporate the trace elements that we know are important in bone formation, we mix it together in a slurry, we then cut a template from a foam. We cut it to the shape and the size that the patients require, we dip that piece of foam in that slurry, then we fire it up at 1200 degrees in a furnace so that we melt away that polymer. What we're left with is the actual structure of the material that we want to implant in the body. The result is an artificial bone scaffold that encourages natural bone to regrow. Not only have they made it porous and strong, they can mould it into any shape you need. This new material has already been used in animals with amazing results. When we compare it with the materials we've developed, we have seen very nice bone formation and healing of the two sides of the defects, which is remarkable. That's incredible. How long did it take for that bone to heal over? It started at four weeks, much better at eight weeks, and this is a three months. So the new data is very uh, encouraging. Um, it shows uh, more bone healing evident on the x-rays than, than um, other types of um, synthetic bone grafts that we've used in the past. It's hoped that within two years, this new material will revolutionise the way we repair broken bones. <laughs>